Good morning, cool dudes. It's about 8.20 and I am in Alton, about to undertake the Alton Circular. This is the home of Jane Austen. So this walking video will be very much in the style of um, somewhere between Pride and Prejudice, more Mansfield Park sort of vlog. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoy it. Let's go. 12.8 miles. Good luck, everyone. A golden post box. Also the home of Peter Charles. Equestrian jumping team winner. Well done, Peter. And I should show you this new um, thing that I've bought to revolutionise my walking. It is a clip here, as you can see, for my camera where you just clip it on and you can slide it come on out of here so I don't have to carry it all day long with one hand I will be reviewing this uh, peak design camera clip for bags it clips in and then you lock it and it should just stay there let's see how we go with it terrifying road apparently there's a path I think somewhere over there here's the path I won't lie that was absolutely terrifying that is more like it it doesn't seem like it's very popular this walk very pretty here I like to think that Jane Austen used to come and sit underneath these pylons and write some of her greatest work it's about to go over this style and there's um, several bulls looking at me there yeah. Uh, uh, please don't kill me. Uh, please don't kill me. Walkers might want to know this is a very gentle walk so far. There has been some mud, which could be bad in the winter. A bit of just gone through. Apart from that, very, it's a very um, gentle inclines. I think it's the length. The problem for some people is the length of this walk. Well done, Selborne Arms. A very good lunch. And now I've got to try and finish the walk before it pisses down with rain. Good luck. There's only one thing worse than doing a, a zigzag path. I'm doing a zigzag path pursued by a, a bunch of four year old school children who are all walking faster than you. I mean, a zigzag path makes it sound like it's fun. It's not fun. It's a horrifically steep climb. I take back what I said before about this path being all easy. All right. This path is very muddy and it's middle of June, so it's quite summertime. So in the winter, I would advise wearing very big boots. And would you? Yeah, I would actually, and I think you'll thank me if you ever go on the walk. Well, <laughs> I think you'll find I am on it. Oh, well, right, sorry. Peculiar things happen to you um, when you're on a walk. And for me, that has involved me having wet, wet, wet songs going around my head. I don't even like wet, wet, wet. I just keep on hearing their songs and want to 
something about the wishing well over and again. I've no idea why this is happening. And I would like someone to make it stop, please. What is this plant here? That is growing in a lot of places. Please put your answers below. Hello mate. Hello Mr. Badger. Off he goes. Wow. That was pretty close up with a badger. Just enjoying himself. Just realised it could have been a Mrs. Badger. So it was offended when I said hello Mr. Badger. Mm -hmm. I have to say the ending of this walk is pretty poor. Probably here, right next to a really busy road. Not that relaxing. This is Chawton. That is Chawton House. Something to do with Jane Austen. I wonder what character I'd be in a Jane Austen novel. Something like Mr. Shipbury. He walks really slow after about 10 miles. And he just moans constantly about his feet starting to hurt. He's got a rubbish hat. And he sweats too much. Sounds like a pretty good guy to me. Jane Austen's house still down here. I have to say there's lots of pubs on this walk. It's quite good if you want to just drink your way through it. This is Jane Austen's house museum. Thatch horse on the thatch house. Back at Alton train station about nine hours later. Somehow that took me absolutely ages. Pretty good walk though. Look at the results here. Why not subscribe and watch all my other walks? Remember, guys, um, keep walking. Need to work on a catch race. Alright, bye.